The CN Tower stands at 553.3 meters tall and was built from 1973 to 1976. It was the world's largest freestanding structure for 32 years until the Burj Khalifa was built in 2007. The tower was originally built to address communication problems, serve as a world-class entertainment destination, and achieve international recognition as the world's largest tower. Today we'll be taking a look at the two unique construction methods that were used to build the CN Tower. If you ever really looked at the CN Tower, you may have noticed that it actually tapers from the bottom to the top, meaning it effectively gets smaller as you reach the top. Not only does this look great, but improves safety and saves money. From a structural engineering perspective, it is generally thought that the safest building design keeps loads as close to the ground as possible. One reason is because the potential gravitational energy is directly proportional to the height of an object. For example, imagine you're holding a ball over your head. It probably won't do too much harm if it fell. Now bring that ball a little higher and the potential danger increases as it gets higher and higher. However, if we place the ball on the ground, the gravitational potential is effectively zero. In structural design, we apply the same concept where we want to keep the loads as low as possible. Therefore, a tapered tower improves the safety of the structure as the heavier loads are closer to the ground and saves money because less material is used overall. This is all great information, but one question does come to mind. How did the construction crew achieve such a shape for such a tall structure? The entirety of the structure was constructed with a slip form, which in other words is a continuous pour of concrete into a moving form. You can think of a form as a mold shaped as the final product. For example, if you wanted to create a rectangular concrete box, you would generally make a form out of material like wood, then pour your concrete in and release the form once the concrete has set. In the case of the CN Tower, it used a large Y-shaped box that was continuously pushed up by a series of hydraulic powered climbing jacks. Workers worked around the clock 24 hours a day, 5 days a week for 40 months to pour the concrete, set the reinforcement, and adjust the slip form to become smaller as each layer was completed. The result was a beautifully tapered Y-shaped tower that was within 2.8 centimeters of plumb. After the slip forming was completed and the sky pod was built, it was time for Olga to come in. Olga was the nickname of a giant Russian Shikorsky helicopter used to assemble the tower's crowning jewel, its antenna. Piece by piece, Olga put together 36 pieces of the antenna precisely together while workers maneuvered and bolted the pieces in place at the top of the tower. With the antenna installed, the CN Tower claimed the title of the world's tallest tower for over 30 years. The CN Tower continues to be one of the world's tallest towers and represents the incredible feats of engineering that were achieved over 50 years ago. If you would like to learn more about the construction of the CN Tower, check out the links in the description below. Thank you for watching and please consider subscribing if you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos on construction, structures, and design.